nice till then. How are you? I hope all of you are uh, watching my video classes and uh, preparing for the exams. Children, our annual exam is coming. All the lessons revised very well. Try to get score very good mark in the exams. Okay. So today we will be discussing relation between alpha, beta and gamma. What is alpha, beta and gamma? Alpha is coefficient of linear expansion. Beta is coefficient of area expansion. And gamma is coefficient of volume expansion. And what is the relation connecting them? Let us see that. So you have to consider a cube. Cube is having length, or each side is having length L. And we are heating that cube. We know its uh, length increases, area increases, and volume increases. Expansion on heating. And let us uh, see, heat is supplied, so length increases, area increases, volume increases. Okay, then delta L, change in length, we have already got the expression, alpha L delta T. Similarly, area, increase in area, last class we have seen that increase in area, beta A delta T. Delta T is the rise in temperature. The, and increase in volume. That is equal to gamma V delta T. And uh, the new length becomes initial length L. What is the new length after expansion? L plus delta L. In initial area A. After uh, heating, it expands, area increases. And the new area is A plus delta A. And the volume, initial volume V. After heating, the volume increases. And that increase in volume, we have already written the expression. And the new volume becomes initial volume plus this increased volume, V plus delta V. So now we are going to find the relation between alpha and beta. So for that, uh, the, we can consider area increase only. Here beta is the, we can see beta is the coefficient of area expansion. Alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion. What is the relation connecting them? So area increase only we have to consider. Initial length L. And after heating it, length increase to L plus delta L. And area, initial area A. And its area increase to A plus delta A. So we can connect them. The new surface area equal to A plus delta A. That is... A plus delta L whole square because A equal to L square. Square. This is so A equal to L square. So A plus delta A increase in area. What is the increase in length? L plus delta L. So what's the new length? L plus delta L. So L plus delta L whole square. That will give the new area. New surface area. A plus delta A equal to L plus delta L whole square. Then we are substituting delta A, we substitute beta A delta T is equal to L plus alpha L, alpha L delta T whole square. So L is common in these two factors. L is taken outside the bracket. L into 1 plus alpha delta T whole square. Then uh, here also A is common, it is taken outside. A into 1 plus beta delta T. And here L square, it is squared. Then A plus B whole square, that formula is applied. A plus B whole square, S square 1 square plus 2AB 2 alpha delta T plus B square alpha square delta T square. Next day you see alpha, that means increase in the area Increase in length, increase in, in the case of a solid, we know that the alpha is very, very small. Temperature, sorry, coefficient of linear expansion is very, very small. So, for example, 0.01, let us take. 
for alpha is equal to four x raw one with the proper units. And when we square it, what becomes for square alpha square four n zero 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 one like that it becomes when we square it. Understand? So that becomes too small. Four n zero 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 one like that very small quantity. So alpha square is too small compared to alpha. So what we do is this term we neglect. This term we neglect because it is too small. So only alpha term we take one plus two alpha delta t. Then uh, one and one get cancelled. Delta t get cancelled. Beta equal to two alpha. Therefore alpha equal to beta by two. That is the relation connecting alpha and beta. Alpha is beta by two. Okay. The next relation connecting alpha and gamma. Alpha and beta we have seen. Next alpha and gamma. For that uh, same cube, you can consider now the volume increase. We have to consider so the new volume equal to v plus delta v. That's equal to volume of a cube l cube. So l plus delta l whole cube. And we substitute for delta v. Delta v is equal to gamma v delta t. So v plus gamma v delta t. Gamma v delta t. Which is equal to l plus delta l. Delta l is equal to alpha l delta t, and the whole cube. Okay. Then we can find the cube of that. Okay, children. We can find the cube. And here v we can take outside. Common factor one plus gamma delta t. T is taken outside. Equal to uh, L is also common there. L into one plus alpha delta t whole cube. So here we say this first term L cube into one plus. Alpha delta t whole cube. V into one plus gamma delta t. V and l cube. V equal to l cube. Initial volume V equal to l cube. So that is cancelled. Then one plus gamma delta t. Gamma delta t equal to a plus b whole cube. What is the expansion of a plus b whole cube? A cube plus Three a square b plus three ab square plus b cube. That is the expansion. A cube plus three a square b plus three ab square plus b cube. We are going to do that. A cube one cube plus three a square b. Three into one square into b alpha delta t plus three ab square. Three into One into b square, alpha square, delta t square, plus plus b cube, alpha cube, delta t cube. We are getting okay. Then one is there on uh, both sides, so you can cancel addition. Gamma delta t equal to three into one, three, three alpha. Delta t plus three square terms and the cube terms we can uh, cancel because alpha square last expression we have cancelled because it is too small. So alpha cube will be too small. So that cube alpha square alpha cube terms we can cancel. So we get only this much. Okay, delta t we can cancel. Gamma equal to three alpha. Therefore, alpha equal to Gamma by three. That is the relation. Gamma equal to alpha, uh, alpha equal to gamma by three, and uh, alpha equal to beta by two. We got so we can write alpha equal to gamma by three, which is also equal to beta by two. Okay, right next, alpha equal to gamma by three equal to beta by two. So this is the relation connecting alpha, beta, and gamma. This is a very important question. 
uh, you have to write and study.